Sure, fine. Today our topic is Unit Nine Geometry. First thing, coordinator prism and pyramid. Before I start, I will show you one video related to this topic. Hi kids! Today we will learn some more interesting 3D shapes. That is prism and pyramids. Let's start with learning. What is a prism? In simple words, prism is a 3D shape in which the top and bottom faces are the same shape and size and all the other faces are rectangles. I will repeat, prism is a 3D shape in which the top and bottom faces are same shape and size and all the other faces are rectangles. There are many types of prisms depending upon the shape of its top and bottom faces or its cross-section. Let's see. First one is the triangular prism. This is a triangular prism because its top and bottom faces are triangle in shape and all other faces are rectangular. It has six vertices, nine edges, and five faces. Now, let's learn another type of prism. This is a square prism. This is a square prism because its top and bottom faces are square in shape and all other faces are rectangular. This is the same as a cuboid. So it has six faces, eight vertices, and 12 edges. Now, let's learn another type of prism. This is a rectangular prism because its top and bottom faces are rectangular and all other faces are rectangular too. This is the same as cuboid shape. So it has six faces, eight vertices and 12 edges. Now, let's learn another type of prism. This is a pentagonal prism because its top and bottom faces are pentagon in shape and all other faces are rectangular. It has 10 vertices, 15 edges and seven faces. There can be more types too, depending on the shape of its top and bottom faces. Now, we will be learning another 3D shape, pyramid and its types. First, let's see what is a pyramid. In simplest words, pyramid is a 3D shape where it has a single base which can be of any polygon shape like triangle, square, rectangle, or pentagon. And all other faces are triangle in shape that converge to a single point at the top which is called its apex. I repeat, pyramid has a single base which can be of any polygon shape like triangle, square, rectangle. 
and all other faces are triangle in shape that converge to a single point at the top, which is called its apex. Most common pyramids are with triangle and square bases. Here are examples. This is a triangular pyramid because its base is a triangle and all other faces are triangle and converge to a single point. It has four vertices, six edges, and four faces. These are common things of this shape. This is a square pyramid because its base is a square and all other faces are triangle and converge to a single point. It has five vertices, eight edges, and five faces. These are some common things of this shape. Now Okay, class. As you know that, as I told you, the, that today we will learn geometry. So before we start this, we must know the shapes names. Okay. So let's check this. Trilateral prism and pyramid. This cube is going to be painted. Whole faces will be painted in one color. So what is the smallest number of color you need? so that no faces is next to the face of the same color that one it's already colored okay with the same color so how many more color we need to color but the smallest number of colors so we just need five more color look at here why because one is already painted so we are just need five more painted to change the colors now question number one here first thing is correlator then parallelogram then regular so you know correlator has four sides parallelogram also have four sides and regular that is simple we call it rectangle so these also we put in the correct places so here there these are the names into the correct section you just put this okay let's suppose first thing square i just put in the regular place okay because it's all sides should be same rectangular numbers i'm just putting here in parallelogram okay because it's as it is same we call it now kite and trapezium its shape is different kite shape as you know that i will show you here as you can see here so this is a kite and trapezium though its shape is look like this pentacone is totally different this will have five sided so we just put it outside okay so it's mean that pentagon is out of this section so as it is same he just said that copy and complete the table first triangular base prism pyramid as you see the video before so kindly tell me how many faces does triangular base pyramid will have and how many edges faces as you know the face and edges you know the core lines number of lines how many lines you do you have and number of vertices like how many corners do you have as it is same we will solve this over here are the answers of these shapes now we look at the complete table carefully describe any pattern you see in the numbers you could use the sentence like the number of dash is always the dash the number of dash so which thing i put it here to complete my sentence now here number of faces is always the same as the number of vertices the number of faces is always one more than the number of sides of the on the basis number of edges is always double the number of side on the basis so it's mean you can put this all okay and first time you just put base then about you just see part you do uh, use your description to complete this table okay let's uh, start if you have 50 side shapes based on a pyramid so 
how many faces do you have how many edges do you have and how many vertices do you have let's suppose if you have 50 uh, side shapes okay of a pyramid so it will have 51 faces and if you are talking about number of edges means number of lines so it is the double so it's a hundred so if you are talking about vertices so it's also a one more than others so thank you so much class